Seems like everyone's having a crack at these things. Let's see what farm foods have to offer. Hey my friends, it's Paparoni and look at this. Farm foods, two steak bakes. Diced beef in rich gravy encased in a light puff pastry. Oven bake for 25 to 30 minutes. So here it is my friend straight out of the oven. It's got some decent stripe action going on over the top and it's taken on a decent colour. Nicely brown, it's a little bit beige here though, but darker on the edge. It's got a good scratch to it, sounds crispy. Underneath, well cooked, good scratch, decent tap. Well, let's open this thing up, see what it's like inside. So inside we have this dark brown, rich, extra thick gravy going on and some lumps of steak. And the steak makes up 20% of this pasty. Looks like a decent lean cut of steak to me, my friends. Can't see anything gnarly about it from here. And the pastry is golden and flaky. Let's have a little listen to the pastry. Oh. Very crispy indeed, particularly on this corner. And let's mush the meat. Well, the meat fought back well. It wasn't having any of that. It's pretty much retained its original shape. Now, one of these baked cows will give you 356 calories, 19.4 grams of fat, of which 9.2 grams is saturated fat. I do like the pattern they've put on this pastry. Looks almost tiger-esque. And the edge is looking particularly tantalizing. As we can see, it's steaming away, sat there, all satisfied. Looking good, smelling good. Time to get involved. Right, here we go. Oh man. I couldn't eat through that piece of steak. I mean, the flavour's all right and it's really well seasoned. I'll say that about it, but this just felt like I was eating a rubber band. Let's try another piece of steak. Nah, that's not going anywhere other than next to the other unmasticatable piece. Let's try the pastry. Lightly seasoned, chewed down into a slightly doughy affair and leaves a bit of a oily residue on the hard palate. Let's try the bottom pastry, a bit of gravy on it. Now that part was really nice. Definitely the little bit of really well seasoned gravy with the crispy bottom pastry. That's the best part of this thing. You'll be pleased to know that the smaller pieces of beef are okay. They chew all right. It's those large pieces which are rank. I'm just opening up the other half to find a large piece of steak to make sure that it's bad all the way through. Let's do it. Oh, it's vile. You can't chew through it at all. It makes a horrible noise in your gob as well. Blah. And to add an insult to injury, it tastes like a bit irony, you know? Okay, even the small bit on that side was unchewable. They say it's 20% beef, but I think I should also say that 2% of the aforementioned beef is edible. One out of 10 to the last bite. Hmm. So, farm foods, steak bakes. They're two for a quid, which is cheap enough, I suppose. It's cheaper than dog food, so I suppose we can feed it to Fido. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. Oven bake for... Tw Oh. All the way over. Oh, looking taste. Oh, doesn't look like there's any gnarly bit. Oh, oh, no, don't slide off.
Oh man. <coughs> please land that thing and take off again in 20 minutes. Let's try the play, play street. <laughs> 